Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED. This is episode 19. And today I want to try to make this kind of a quick video and we're just going to be showing a comparison between the two plants with the Max Bloom turned off so you can see it better. So that way both the plants are in the same light and you can kind of see the color difference a lot easier. Uh, so basically what I've done is I just switched over the fertilizer, like I said in the last episode, to the... Um, the fruiting and flowering phase on the general hydroponics. I'll just throw a picture here up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about real quick because I don't have them on hand. Um, but mainly what I did is just switched over to that nutrient solution. I had a little bit of Epsom salt and a little bit of CalMag. Uh, those pictures will be on the screen as well so you can see what they are. Uh, but really what I wanted to show in this video, in this episode, is the difference between how much fruit the white LED is actually producing versus the Max Bloom. So let me get in a little closer you can see here there is um, quite a bit of flowers here. I'm actually just going to pollinate them right when I'm doing the video here. Um, you can see there is quite a bit of fruit being produced. We've got a long string of tomatoes, and these are full size. They're cherry tomatoes. That's the normal size for them. And I got a whole strand of them growing down there. I got a whole nother strand growing here, and I got a whole nother uh, column coming off here. I'm not sure about the technical term what you would call this, but this string of flowers. It's right there. And the, both the plants are approximately the same height. Um, I'm seeing a little more, for some reason, maybe a little more dense growth on the top part of this plant versus the white over here, uh, the white LED high bay. Uh, but there's less flowers, even with the, even with the bloom turned all the way up here. So it's a lot of red light. Um, there is far less flowers, uh, uh, flower strings growing on here. I sound like an idiot not actually knowing what these technically are called, but um, a lot less of those. There's a longer one here, but mainly it's not so much that there's less flowers, it's, it's also further behind in production. And if we look down over here, you can see this is all we got for that string right there on the Max Bloom. You know, there, there's hardly anything growing on there. There's there's one here, and it looks really weird. Oops, sorry about that. It looks really weird. It's kind of a darker color, um, kind of a weird shape. Uh, it's got it's just got some weird kind of growth to it. Um, not normal. And the rest of these are growing, but they're really tiny. And then over here we have, you know, these are closer to the light. Also, um, growing kind of weird, growing really slow, very tiny. I'll just go ahead and pollinate that while I'm at it. But as far as the, like the color difference between the plants, um, not really seeing a lot. I mean, if you could look at here and over here, they look pretty much the same. I mean, the leaves don't look any different in color to me. Um, but mainly just what I wanted to show was like how much more fruit I'm getting and how much faster it's growing under the high bay LED. And this isn't even, this isn't even considered a grow light whatsoever. As a matter of fact, it's not really... Um, you know, the greatest spectrum for growing plants um, as far as being able to tune it, you know, putting different color temperature diodes in there. And that's kind of what the point of this is, is, you know, the whole point of this series is that there's the fact that we're using a, a light here that is basically tuned for growing plants, although it is not a white light. And then we're using high bay light that's just sold to be put up in warehouses. It has no intention of using it for plant growth. But so far, not just not just this whole series, but in the past experiments I've done, I've pretty much seen the same thing happen. Um, now I know, I know, understand these are not medicinal plants, uh, like you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so obviously that might get a little bit different growth under the Max Bloom, but here we're looking at a lot of red light, not seeing a lot of flowering. We're seeing more flowering under the white light, and the fruit production is way ahead. And again, these are clones, so. You know, to me, this is just reinforcing the whole idea that white light, even though it's not a grow light, is still going to perform better than some red-blue uh, blurple lights. Now, I'm still not knocking the maximum here. I'm really trying not to, because um, obviously this might perform better with different plants, but as far as the cherry tomatoes, not really seeing much of a benefit with that. So, on a side note, uh, these episodes here are kind of getting a little bit, I would say, kind of repetitive. Um, I'm probably never going to do a series like this, this long and drug out on my channel again. I'm seeing a lot of people drop off. People are either just not caring or they're 
um, getting bored of it or they're just waiting for the last video to see the results. Hopefully this video could kind of show a little more definitive results uh, and what we're gonna see towards the end. I mean, it's our, we're already kind of seeing what's gonna happen at the end, but um, we're gonna give it um, a little bit longer, let it produce more and then see what happens. So that's really it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you in episode 20.